AI video generators are everywhere right now, but which one is actually worth using? To find out, I tested five of the best AI video generator tools on the market. Some are free, some are paid, but each of them does something unique. In this video, I'll show you the results from every tool so you can decide which one is right for your projects. And I'll also share the platform I personally use that gives me access to all of these tools in one single place. So let's get started. To use all AI video generators in one single place, let's use one of the most popular tools called Nim.video. You can find the link in the description and clicking it brings you here. Then click on try now and create a brand new account. Let's start with Kling AI. It's currently ranked 8th in text to video and 5th in image to video. Let's test both and see if it's real. So, in Nim.video under the create section, paste this prompt. A man in a denim jacket is sitting at a small kitchen table inside a messy New York apartment. The table has old newspapers, an empty coffee mug, and a half-eaten bagel on it. There's a cat sleeping on the windowsill, and outside the window, you can see a bear. His roommate walks in wearing a bathrobe and sunglasses. I'm using this prompt because it contains many details to generate in a single frame, which makes it very competitive for each AI tool we are going to test. Don't forget to turn off the auto-enhance prompt feature if you want to follow your prompt exactly as it is. Clicking here lets us switch video generation models easily. There are almost every video model available, and for the first test, I'm going with Kling. Then choose an aspect ratio. Let's go with 16 to 9. Next to it, we have an option called Controls, which helps us change the version. Add reference elements, choose quality, duration, and even add negative prompts. After choosing what you need, click on Generate. Now the generation has started, and you can see it below. Clicking on it shows all the details you provided. I waited almost two minutes to get this output, and here's the result. In the generated video, the man is wearing a denim jacket, and the table contains old newspapers, a coffee mug, and a half-eaten bagel. A sleeping cat is on the windowsill, and the bear is there too. Finally, his roommate walks in wearing a bathrobe and sunglasses. Everything is happening in a kitchen. So, the video was generated exactly following our prompt. But we can't say this is perfect yet, because we need to compare it with results from the other five tools. So wait for that. Now, because we are using Nim.video, we also have options to upscale, add sound, lip sync, restyle, slow motion, and even add effects. Let's click on add sound and test this feature. We need to describe the sound, but instead of doing it manually, I used AI to write it for me. It analyzed the video and came up with a sound prompt. Now click on generate. Here's the generated video. Now let's try Kling AI's image to video feature. Upload a photo here and next to it paste this tricky prompt. Fast zoom up to the girl's face, showing a very scared and surprised expression. She then turns around, starts running away towards the background, trying to escape. The camera follows her as she runs down the street at night. High action, shaky, cinematic. For now, I'm going with Kling's master mode. After everything is set, click on generate and wait for the result. The video just nailed it. We have everything as we asked for. The camera zooms to her face, shows her scared expression, then she runs into the street and the camera follows her. But still, watch the video to the very end, where we compare all the results from all the video generation tools to decide which one is best of all. Before we check out the next tool, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This video was actually requested by our subscribers, so even a single like from you will make me super happy. Tool number two, Halo AI, which ranks fifth in text to video and third in image to video generation. Let's start with text to video generation. Navigate to the create section, then paste the exact same complicated prompt we used earlier. Check if auto enhance is on or off, then choose high luo from the AI models and adjust the controls as you need. I'm going with pro mode. Finally, click generate. The generation took three minutes and 40 seconds. The video has a man with a denim jacket, two empty coffee mugs, but we asked for only one. Old newspapers, a half-eaten bagel, a sleeping cat, and the bear outside. But there's a glitch in the roommate's entry into the kitchen, so compared to Kling, Hyluo can't win here. Next, let's see if Hyluo can beat Kling in the image to video feature. I'm uploading the same image as before, adding the same prompt, choosing all the settings, and clicking generate. After the generation, here's what Hyluo came up with. The result is amazing. The camera zooms in on her, and the expression she makes is super impressive. But when she runs back to the street, the streetlight post is missing. So, what do you think of this generation? Did Hyluo actually beat Kling this time? 
drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Tool number three is VEO, which ranks first in both text-to-video and image-to-video generation. I'm pasting the same text-to-video prompt, then choosing VEO from the list. Next, choose the aspect ratio as you need. Under controls, I'm selecting VEO3 for the generation. Let's also enable the video plus sound option to see if any sound is generated without mentioning it in the prompt. Finally, click generate. Remember the settings I chose for each video model to get the result you're seeing. After waiting a few minutes, the result is ready. Morning. Is that a bear outside? Everything just nailed it. VO3 added sound perfectly, and everything is present. The coffee mug, bagel, newspapers, sleeping cat, bear, and roommate. I personally like this one the most so far. Now let's test the image to video feature. For this, upload the same image and prompt as before. Don't forget to change the aspect ratio as needed, or VO will crop your image. Finally, click generate and wait for it. This time as well, VO3 added sound perfectly. But instead of zooming the camera to her face, she walks forward and then runs backward looking scared and surprised. It looks good, but it didn't follow what we asked for. Google VEO3, along with all the other tools I just showed you, is all available inside Nim.Video. The reason I love using Nim.Video is because I can switch between all these AI models super easily, which is perfect for a video like this where I want to test each one. This feature is actually called the Model Aggregator, and it brings together 40 plus video and image models in one place, and lets you instantly switch and compare results side by side. I only need one subscription. Sure, you could get a separate subscription for each tool, but for me, Nim.video is cheaper, faster, and way more convenient. If you want to give it a try, I'll drop the link in the description below. Tool number four, Wan AI. It ranks 10th in text to video and 11th in image to video generation. Let's follow the same steps as before, but this time choose Wan AI from the list. Change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, and in the control section, I'm going with version 2.2 with high quality. Then click Generate. Wan AI is a free Chinese tool you can try out. This generation took one minute to complete. The video included everything we asked for, but there was a bit of morphing around the cat area. Considering it's a free tool, the result is good. Now let's try the image to video feature and see if it can come a step forward. Repeat the same steps by uploading the same image and prompt as before, and choose the settings. Compared to other tools, Wan consumes fewer credits to generate. When the generation was finally completed, as you can see, it didn't follow our prompt as we asked. The video has some glitches, she is running forward, and there's no camera zoom to her face. Don't skip from here because we're about to compare all the videos generated side by side within few minutes. Tool number five, Seadance AI. It ranks seventh in text to video and third in image to video generation. Let's start by pasting the same text to video prompt. Then choose Seadance from the list and select the aspect ratio. Under the controls section, choose pro mode and 1080p resolution for high quality output. The generation took less than one minute, which seems faster than the other AI models. In the generated video, everything is as we requested, but if you look closely, there's a glitch behind the bear with the roommate. Apart from that, everything is super high quality. Here's the image to video result generated with Seadance using the same image and prompt as in the other AI models. The result looks great. It performs well by adding the camera zoom, showing the scared expression, and following her as she runs toward the background. Everything looks super cool. Now let's move on to the most difficult part, which is finding the best one among all of these results. Honestly, all the tools did pretty well. Keep in mind, the prompt we used was super complicated and included some tricky motions. Here are all five videos generated from five different AI models for the text to video feature. They all look solid, but here's the catch. Halo and Wan struggled with glitches, and Seadance had a minor hiccup too. That leaves Kling and Veo 3 as the top performers. And if sound matters, Veo3 takes the lead. Next, let's check out the five outputs from image to video feature. This time, one of them really steals the show. Can you guess which one it is? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm curious to see which one you'd pick as the winner.
Nim.video made testing all these AI tools so much easier because it brings all the popular ones together in a single platform. In fact, there are already 40 plus video and image models available, and new ones get added within just a few days after their release. So if you want to try all these tools in a way that's cheaper and easier, you can use Nim.video. I'll leave the link in the description. And here's a bonus. If you use my link, you'll also get 200 free credits to test the platform yourself. But Nim.video isn't just about combining models. It also has the Stories feature, which can create a ready-made video in just one click. You simply paste a short prompt or even a link, and within a few minutes it generates a script, captions, visuals, voiceover, and music. Basically, a full video that's ready to publish. The biggest benefits? Nim.video saves time, lets you scale videos fast, requires no editing skills, and is super affordable compared to buying separate subscriptions. For me, it's the easiest way to stay consistent without burning out. So, I hope this video helped you figure out which AI tool is the best fit for you. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.